Vroom. Beep, beep. Hey friends, it's Miss Melissa here, and I am going to read you the story about uh, the pumpkin patch parable. Uh, I'm excited to read this to you as it is still fall, it's not Christmas yet. Um, and let's hear a little bit about how the pumpkin can remind us about Jesus. Are you ready? See that big red barn and those rolling green hills? That's where the farmer lives, way out in the country. It's so far out that the streets don't even have stop signs. The farmer grew many different things in his fields. He grew tall green corn and big red tomatoes, long yellow squash and little green peas. People eat that stuff for dinner. The best vegetables the farmer grows are pumpkins. They start out as flat oval seeds, almost as big as raisins. I like to roast my pumpkin seeds. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do. On a hot June day, soon after school was out, the farmer planted his pumpkin seeds just like he did every summer. The seeds disappeared into the ground in neat rows and grew there in the dark all through the 4th of July. Early one morning, a tiny green shoot quietly poked its way out of the soil. Soon, a long green vine stretched across the ground. From that vine, little buds sprouted into wide green leaves. The leaves spread out flat to catch the August sun. Look at how big those leaves are, friends. Wow. Someday, those little green buds would turn into big orange pumpkins, but not yet. The patient farmer waited and waited. The pumpkins began to grow. How different they looked. Some were tall and lean. Some were short and round. Some had lumps and bumps. All of them were pumpkins. October came at last. Every night grew dark earlier than the night before, and the farmer knew it was harvest time. His workers brought in the ripe pumpkins. Which one would the farmer choose? The farmer picked up one large pumpkin. Taking great care, pumpkins are tough on the outside, but break into smithereens if dropped. He washed off all the dirt, holding on tight. Next came the messy part. The pumpkin was filled with seeds and slimy pulp. The farmer had a special plan for his chosen pumpkin, so the seeds and slime would have to go. He slowly cut all the way around the top of the pumpkin. Gently, he pulled the stem. Now the farmer could look inside. Squishy, stringy pulp waited for him. Yuck! The farmer pulled out all the slimy pulp and wrapped it up in an old newspaper. Off to the compost pile went never to be seen again. Then something really exciting happened. The pumpkin got a new face. The farmer carved a triangle for each eye. Pumpkins have eyes that don't blink or turn away. They see everything. He neatly made a little square for the nose and then he carved a big, wide smile. The farmer put a small candle inside the pumpkin and touched the wick with a flame. How that pumpkin glowed. The pumpkin on the porch shone brightly for everyone to see. When people saw the smiling pumpkin, they all smiled back. All the neighbors knew that once again, the farmer had turned a simple pumpkin into a simply glorious sight. In the same way, God the Father offers his children the chance to be made new, full of joy and full of light shining like stars in a dark world. Wow, friends, so when you see a pumpkin like that shining bright on someone's doorstep, you can know that it reminds you of Jesus too. Thanks for listening to the story. Have a great day.
Boom. Beep, beep.